Hi, hello, and welcome to another video. Today, we're bringing in the new year with a New Year's Eve look. Let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going in with a primer combo of the Freck Rich Bitch Serum and the Glossier Future Dew Serum, and this combo could not be more glowy. Absolutely love it. And for foundation today, I'm using the brand new e.l.f. Hydrating Camo CC Foundation. One drop will do you. Taking the BK Beauty 106 brush to blend this in. I'm doing a pretty sheer layer. I'm in the shade 125. And I do find this is more hydrating than the original. But it's also sheer coverage in my opinion. This color is a little yellow for me. But it works best overall in the range. Now the Tower 28 concealer. I am in BH1 I believe it's called. I haven't picked this up in a long time. And the coverage kind of surprised me. But the finish worked really well with that foundation. Now the new Milani cream bronzer. This is the lightest shade. It's really fantastic. It like blends on the skin so easily and it's sheer but in a good way that it looks skin like. I am loving it. Adding that to all the usual places. The drugstore has really launched quite a few new products. The ones I have I'm going to be testing in this video. Hopefully this can help but the bronzer a plus. Again, e.l.f. expanding the camo range. This is the camo liquid blush. This is a berry shade and I am just adding a one teensy drop. Very pigmented. Taking this on a BK Beauty brush and um, overestimated how much I need, but yet I go and do it on the other side too. So <laughs> what's wrong with me? I definitely had to <laughs> blend that out. It was looking a little crazy. So I just took the same brush I used for foundation right over that blush and I'm taking the e.l.f prime and set powder this is an amazingly affordable smoothing powder it even works for my dry skin under the eyes through the brows as usual fantastic check it out for yourself and now when i think new year's i think blinding highlight and the rare beauty highlighter in enlighten is that girl adding that to the high points and just shimmering and glowing Speaking of brands expanding a range in their collection, NYX has just launched the Marshmallow Mist. Smells great and is mattifying and I want to put that on before I put on my eye makeup. Taking a BK Beauty 201 and this shade from the Essence Tope It Up palette. This is a wonderfully affordable, pretty good palette. Adding the cream shade all around the edges to keep things nice and blurred out. Really simple, kind of winging things out before going in with the Danessa Myricks Lightwork 5. I knew I wanted to do silver and this Invincible shade is amazing. The glitter is fairly chunky, but look at it. It speaks for itself. It does fall out a little bit, but not too crazy much for how impactful it is. I'm taking the shade Protected, which is a duochrome that leans purple, and adding that to the inner corners just for a punch of brightness. Taking another gray shade from the Top It Up palette on the lower lash line and winging that out. Soft and diffused and wham, a bam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Another newbie from e.l.f., the H2O Proof Liquid Liner. I am just lining and winging that out. Mine is in the shade Sugar Plum, which is a pretty purple. This is a felt tip liner, which is not my favorite. I find that they're just a little too stiff, but I still managed to make this one work. And I'm going to buff out that same gray shade underneath the wings again for that diffused kind of look. Glowing, okay? New from LA Girl, the Volumatic Mascara. I got the shade purple, whereas the liner from e.l.f. is a little bit warm. This is definitely a cool lilac toned purple. Here's the before and the after. Going to do this on the lower lash line as well. The formula is kind of thick, so on the upper lash line, I'm just going to use a regular black liner. Through the brows is a Glossier Duo and e.l.f. Lash and Roll on those top lashes. CoverGirl just launched a new lip stain. I picked up the shade Adore, and I do adore these. I do wish the nib on the tip was a little bit smaller for more precision. But these definitely do stain the lips. And speaking of stain, Milani just launched Color Fetish Lip Stains. I love the cushiony feeling of this. It applied so easy. Let's see how the stain stains, okay? Here is what is left after wiping it off. Super pretty. Great for if you're partying all New Year's, you'll still have the color on. But I didn't think it really matched the look, so I'm taking the Matte Lint Pencil in Brooklyn Thorn from NYX Cosmetics. One of my favorite favorites for cool tone looks, and I'm taking the Victoria Beckham Lipstick in the shade Jump. Another cool tone. I mean, these are expensive, but the formula is so nice. I love cleaning up my brows and my lip line with the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. I use the shade 1 and the K 
KJH and Spectrum number no. 9 brush, and that is the look. Ready for New Year's, ready for 2024. I think we all are. 2023 was a hard year for a lot of us. There's still a lot of work to be done in 2024. I just want to take a moment to thank you all for the support in 2023. Party hard this New Year's. I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you for watching this video and all my videos throughout 2023. As always, be blessed and be kind. See you soon. Happy New Year!